are back in one of our favorite places. We'll give you three guesses where it is. Yeah, you're right, it's Bali. <laughs> We're gonna try and get out and do some new adventures in Bali, but God, this place is just awesome. Ah, Bali, where beauty is just a glance away. We heard about this great little Indian place. So we wandered over here and we have some outstanding Indian food. Ciao time. Local specials, Bobby Gooling. Lots of flavor. And the corn chips actually taste like corn chips, which, if you're in Ubud, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Raka, who owns Raka House, where we stay, gave us these when we came in. He always gives us little treats and gifts and stuff. Let's see what's in this one. It smells like tea. We are getting Kate a haircut in color because it's been like seven months since this poor girl has had her hair styled. We've been walking for about an hour already. We're about to head out even further into the rice terraces for uh, a friend of a friend who is supposed to be a really good hairstylist. So that's our adventure for the day. This is definitely the most gorgeous walk to the hair salon I've ever gone on. <laughs> How's that for a salon with a view? <laughs> Seven months, it's finally time. Sorry, Philip and Kelly, she's cheating on you. You won't come visit me. We found gluten-free pizza. If it smells as half as good, it smells amazing. <laughs> mm, very good. Yum. This place is Atman. It's a local favorite in Ubud, and I see why. It's amazing. It's another day exploring beautiful Bali. doing the Komchon Ridge Walk. I am probably saying that completely wrong, but like every place else in Bali, it's just incredibly gorgeous up here. The chance of us getting on that over that edge is 0.000. .000. Zero. At the top of the hill, there's cool stuff. And a little restaurant. Check out this doorway. Carved out of a solid root structure. And at the very top, thank God, a cafe. Can't argue with that. So for comparison, that thing is as big as my hand. I'm leaning out over an edge. That spider is freaking enormous. Thankfully he's on the other side of his web. He's cool. It's 
always so beautiful up here. Just every time you turn around, you're like, wow, look at this, look at that. Look at you. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, I'm not going to take any more video, then we just walk across something else that's just insanely beautiful. I have a confession. As I watch this fleet of drones fly around the Ubud area, uh, like the one behind us that's harassing the workers in the rice field back here, I, uh, I have to admit that I have lost my desire to have a drone. They have become so annoying that uh, I think I'm just fine with my little camera. And also my little camera is way cheaper. But if you do get a drone, for God's sakes, get one that's quiet. Yikes. <laughs> Is it worth going down there? I don't think so. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> If you like our video, leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.